Hi, right, thank you very much. You guys are still here. Yo, I think so far, and I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry because some people are going to find an issue with this. But I think so far, up till date, since we have been recording and taping the Teju Bay Facial, I think you guys are the best set of audience we've ever had. You, you guys. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know why you're so happy. It's like you think you're going to win something. <laughs> it's like you think because you're the best audience. <laughs> you're good. But it's just that uh, beautiful women. And it seems that red or pink is the color this year. Because I see at least three women wearing pink or red or something. Is that like the color of this year? It's pink. It's pink. Ah, incidentally, there's a girl I like who likes... Forget. Forget. Don't worry. All right. Uh, coming to the stage right now, or to the set, coming on the Teddy Bay Face Show is... Uh, she's, she's rare. You, you know how some people are rare? She's very rare in the sense that she does what a lot of people do, and yet she's managed to single out herself. Do you know that that's one of the first steps to success? When you are in an industry, an area, a sphere where there are so many people, but somehow when they think of that area, they think about you. You wonder who I'm speaking of. When you think, when you think of home videos in Nigeria, when you think of actresses, when you think of African actresses, who hail from Nigeria, one name comes to your mind in excellence, in brilliance, and in interpretation of roles. Please welcome with me the very delectable Genevieve Enaji. <laughs> I, I, can, I can understand why I can understand why you clapped so high. Then it, it like stopped in the middle. You're like blown away, Abby. Yes. She, she looks better in person, doesn't she? Yes. Uh, wow. You. Wow. It, you're, you're so, you're very, uh, is MC Abbey anywhere here? Has he left? Oh, MC Abbey is never around when they need him. He's a very huskupu's uh, <laughs> cab. Oh, oh, put your hands together for her again. What are you? Before we go on, uh, Genevieve, here's the Comedy Bible. Everybody say Comedy Bible. Comedy Bible. All right. Um, just to make sure you like, tell the truth all the time, like in court, <laughs> I'd like you to place your closer hand on the Bible. Do you promise to tell the truth and nothing but the truth so help you? <laughs> do, do, does this include in <laughs> omission? No, just promise. No, promise no to tell the truth. You, you promise. If I, if I speak, yeah. All right. She promises to tell the truth. <laughs> Would you say you are an Ajabota or Ajapaku? Let's get that. In between. You are in between? Yeah. All right, wait, wait, this is how we know. <laughs> what, what kind of games did you play growing up? Uh, wrong question. <laughs> what what wrong. did you play with? Did I, you? I, didn't do the, I didn't do the normal things that girls my age did. I played football. <laughs> so, and on the streets. On the streets. So you didn't play my mother that told me? Um, I think I did when I was much younger, like maybe four. But five. of course, you don't remember the game. No, I don't. Anybody here remember my modato? Yes. Uh, Any, yeah. Anybody? Yeah. Okay, uh, if you did, ca ca can you do it with me some distance? Yeah, yes. You can do it? Yes. Okay, here goes. <laughs> For Genevieve, let, let's say it. My mother told me that she would buy me another day if I was good. <laughs> It's a, it's a lie, it's a lie. I wasn't a, I, I, I used to like, I used to play with boys. I, I used to play with boys. <laughs> oh, it's not a showed yourself thing. now. No. <laughs> see here, see here. I had many sisters. That's why, that's why. But anyway, uh, so uh, you've been everywhere. What singles you out? Only you. Uh, Oprah referred to you. Did you actually go on Oprah or she just referred to you? <laughs> I wish. She would have been adopted by now. No. No, she, oh, she just um, referred to you. Well, I think um, Oprah did her research. It wasn't just a reference. I think they really researched, and uh, I don't know what she was looking for, but she was obviously doing a segment of famous people around the world, and she searched in Africa. Somehow came up with me. Wow. What, what did she refer to you as? Um, the, obviously, the Julia Roberts of Africa, which, you know, Julia that's, Roberts. Just, that's to explain. <laughs> I, 
I think that was just to give an insight um, to what I am and what I represent in Africa, you know, especially to those who didn't know me. Okay, and, and you found that flattering? Oh, yeah. I mean, she could call me anything. In fact, she called my name. <laughs> 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 All right, so, okay, so uh, how is it been? You seem to have a lot of time uh, for stuff. I hear you're doing some charity stuff. T yeah. Tell me about that. What's that about? Well, um, as you're aware, St. Genevieve was um, a clothing line I launched two years ago. Um, haven't really had time to, you know, make it commercial because I've been busy. I'm just too busy. I don't even see how I can bring anything else to life. But then I, I use the clothing line as a medium to raise funds for orphanages. And this is the third year. So the show is scheduled for the December the 19th at ECHO. Um, hopefully we, we worked with um, Arrows of God Orphanage last year. And one of our sponsors, South African Airways, adopted the orphanage and that was amazing. And so we're looking for doing the same thing. <laughs> so we're looking at doing the same thing for Vigilance Hearts, which is the orphanage we're working with this year. Good, cool. All right. <laughs> Is it time for the Bible? Uh, no, uh, cause, just because I'm rubbing my hands. <laughs> Can't a man rub his hands together and be pleased with himself? I just rub my hands. So, uh, what's up? Uh, tell me, are, are you um, seeing anybody? That's always, I mean, they, they at least, they at least, they have to be at least, if there are 150 million people in Nigeria, they have to be at least, at least 5 million men who are watching this, who want to know whether you are single. A lie. A lie. <laughs> You're no ring, Gabby. You're single. Okay. She's single. Okay. Now somebody move closer to the edge of their seats. One tick, one tick, tick that one. Now second one, so that they will be ticking. What kind of man is your man? I won't say dream man, but your ideal man. Who would you go out with? Now before you start saying all those things, God fearing. I don't want to hear God fearing. <laughs> I mean, I, I fear God. I fear God, but they have abused that thing. Yes. What is a God fearing man? God fearing man. <laughs> I, I don't want to hear. What can, okay, let's start physically. What kind of man is your man physically? Let's say physical first. I think, you know, growing up as a child, we all have like a visual, um, you know, picture of what we want our, you know, our spouse to look like. Yeah. I snapped out of that a long time ago. So now, you know, I think beauty really is within. And I just look, I'm looking out for somebody with a very, very good heart. Very good heart. Oh! Tick number two. She, she says it doesn't matter. So it's about heart. It's about the heart. Okay. So just wondering, um, I'm just curious. Would your dream man look anything like, um, like this? <laughs> like this? <laughs> like this? You, you can't see it. I'll bring it to you. Would, would it look anything like, like this? Just would he? Sorry, sorry. I, I had to do that. I had to do that. Sorry, but is there any truth to this at all? It's just I mean, just debunk, just debunk it right now. National TV. You know, is there any truth? I'm not really a gossip rat kind of person, but they, they were just on my neck. Ask, ask, as you people were asking me to ask, Abby. Yeah. They are the ones that pushed me, not me. Is there any truth? He has all? a very, very good heart. He has a very. Oh. I am satisfied with that. If you are not satisfied, face closed. We're done, we're done with that. We're, we're done. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dario Adene, but my friends do call me D1. You're watching the Teddy Baby Face Show. They say that uh, there's no smoke without... Okay, so when people buy this soft cell on the street, I mean on the street, forgive me, when people buy this soft cell on the street, they assume that no matter how you be, there's got to be some element of truth to it. You tell us from that point of view, for every story that you see on the cover of a soft cell or a magazine, uh, is there always an element of truth or some of them are just Very out rare. and out Very lies? rare is there an element of truth. There's the, I will bring it up now, there's the most famous rumor about me and the vice president. There was not an element of truth in that. I'm yet to meet the chap, and if I meet him, he has to pay. 
Bros. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this, this is where I'm curious now, you know. If this were the United States, if this were England, if this were anywhere else, if you write stories that are unfounded, you get sued. Why don't we sue? Have you ever sued here? Are, are we afraid? Is it that when you sue now, they're going to... Have you ever seen our courts? <laughs> Well, uh, thank God I've actually never seen our courts, but in the movies. Or when I drive past Ikeja court, Afidavit, 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 Ikeja court, Afidavit. That's a typical example of don't believe everything you watch. <laughs> don't believe everything you watch. The truth of the matter is if you want to win, you let it all go. Let the, the negativity go. Focus, be positive, and strive. And you will really, really piss them. Clap for her, clap for her. <laughs> Clap for her, clap for her. The way you're going about this, are you, are you like, are you like a born again Christian or something? No, um, I think I'm more spiritual. Than uh, what does that mean? Spirit, look, because when the person tells you, no, but they are spiritual. If you be Igbo, Igbo is spiritual. If you smoke Igbo, you get spiritual. Which kind of spiritual are, are we talking about? I, I'm just one of those people who believe in do unto others what you want them to do unto you. I believe very strongly in karma. I believe in destiny. I believe you can't delay a person's destiny. You can't stop a person's destiny. You can only delay. So. Uh, sorry. I, I, I have a problem with that particular saying. They say it a lot. You can't stop destiny, but delay. Please, neither stop nor delay my destiny. If I'm going to live 90 years and you delay it until I'm 87, what? Have you not stopped it? Uh, uh, you have stopped. Uh, okay, it won't take that long. It won't long. take that long because I believe everything happens at the right time when it's due. Mm, clap for her again. Uh, so, do you know what uh, do you know what the Yorubas call Omoluabi? Omoluabi. Can anybody Help. define what Omoluabi is? Omoluabi. Any of you Omoluabi? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I have I have MC Abi here. MC Abi, who is Omoluabi? Yeah, uh, somebody that is a hoofless shoes. Who is a hoofless shoes? Somebody that is a hoofless shoes. Uh, it, it means anybody uh, else? Uh, <laughs> 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 Ignore him. <laughs> Amolua B is generally the Yoruba word for somebody born well. It's a, for want of a better word, it's good pedigree. It's pedigree, definitely. Just pedigree. She has pedigree. Amolua B. Amolua B. Okay, so uh, before I let you go, tell me what's your educational background? Um, well, I went to Chemistry International Nursery and Primary School in Brown Road. Okay, um, so Aguda. Aguda, Aguda, Aguda. Aguda. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Aguda Suru Lere, Sorry, Aguda Suru Primary School. Which year? <laughs> oh God. Okay, you're, you're 31 now. Yeah. So you went so, about 1985 to about 19. Aguda Brown. So that time was slightly at Jebota. So at Jebota Primary School. See, <laughs> secondary school, secondary school. Methodist Girls High School. We're getting razor. Where, where, where? <laughs> Yaba. Yaba. Even the principal of Oshin Grammar School thinks the school is too short. Okay, but okay, okay. Now let's go. So uh, I, and beyond I did, that, I did that till SS1. Then okay. my family moved out of Surulere to a further place, Egbeda, and then I had to change school. So I went to girls' high school, Agege. Sorry, where, where? <laughs> <laughs> girls' high school, Agege. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. There are right. <laughs> for one okay. year. Okay, okay. That was for, for just a year, and then I had to go, you know, transfer to the east because at that point in time I had to give birth to my kid, okay. and then so the last two years of my secondary school I finished in the east, okay. which was a really tough one because I'd never been away from my family, and um, but I came back after that to Lagos and then started auditioning for roles while I awaited my results. So that's pretty much it. Okay, uh, now uh, if, if what if I heard what you said correctly, uh, you had a child when you were still in high school, yeah. and that's got to be a difficult thing, especially around here. Yeah. Around here has got to be a difficult thing. But you 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 seem to be the proverbial: if uh, you get a knock in life, you pick yourself up and you keep going. If you had to say a word to somebody out there who's struggling, who seems to think that they've made a mistake, and you know, what would you say to them in encouragement? Well, um, obviously, uh, when, when you're dealt by a blow, you think that's the end of life, especially as a kid. You think that's, you, you know, that's it. Your life is done. It's over. You don't actually see. You, you can't foresee the future at that point in time. But the truth of the matter is whatever, what don't kill you, especially if you survive, it only makes you stronger. And if you've dealt with the highest blow, you can, you can actually deal with anything in life. And really, to be honest, I think stuff like that only makes you 
it only prepares you for what is to come because challenges and obstacles and trials and tri tribulations will come definitely and it would only give you the patience and understanding on how to deal with these things so you know there's a reason for everything thank you that's so that's so beautiful that is so beautiful having, having said that what kind of music do you like so i like to soul um uh, I, I mean, to dance to, obviously, hip-hop. That's the only thing we can really dance to, okay. whether African or Western. Okay. But to listen to, I like soul, I okay. like jazz, and okay. stuff like that. So you like African hip-hop? Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, she likes African hip-hop. I have uh, hip-hop here from 19... In 1983, this was what was considered hip-hop. And we will dance. Frank, my song. 83 hip-hop, my song. It's hip-hop in 1983. Volume. Oh yeah, everybody. Oh yeah, feel. Oh yeah, let's dance. It's hip hop. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. All right, please. Uh, before you go, I mean, before you go, you guys can be seated. You guys can be seated. Uh, there's grace in your every movement, and that's brilliant. Before you go, we, uh, we have your picture taken every time you come on set. Mm -hmm. And before you go, we'd like to present the picture to you. It's from our photographer's QF, okay. and with some other gifts as well. Please put your hands together for the usher. <laughs> and uh, here is our photograph. Here you are. And she looks brilliant in this. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. There you go. And uh, of course, from uh, our partners, Promacido, we have a carton of Onga. Actually, we have more than one carton for you. We have at least about five cartons of this, about seven cartons of that. That's loyal milk, and that is Onga. I don't know whether you like milk. I absolutely like milk. Uh, yes, and I am the, the brand ambassador of a milk, which I will not say. Well, more milk for you. <laughs> Thank you very much Thank for coming, Jeremy. So God bless you. We'll see you guys later. Stay there.